So my press secretary, uh, Jerry, has given me some things to talk about. I'm not, so I'll answer any questions. Sorry, Mr. Secretary. Brent Pro, Dave. Our first chance getting to talk to you since the scrimmage. Uh, who were some young guys that mm. stood out in a positive way at the scrimmage on Saturday? I just talked to Devon Hamilton's uh, family, and boy, he's really he's crawling out of his shell a little bit. Uh, he's a guy that's doing pretty good. Uh, Sam Hubbard's really doing good. Jalen Holmes is coming on. You know, the D-line's the area most concerned in our program. I think that's shifted a little bit to the O-line now. Very concerned. Uh, Michael Jordan's a guy that we're, I think he might, you know, an offense lineman usually don't get a chance and that's I'm putting the cart way before the horse which you asked me a question those are some guys that we're looking at Austin Mack continues to uh, uh, earn time and so is uh, Mike Weber so uh, those are just names off the top of my head Donovan Munger I want to ask about him I think he, he got a little health issue okay. yeah so just making sure that uh, you know he had the blood clot issue that they're just rechecking because those are obviously serious stuff but we don't know enough right now for me to go further second row Laurie facilities here at Ohio State. <coughs> I imagine that you love them in your first class. Could you just expound on how much you value them? How much well, it's, uh, it's our guys, the, the first people, you know, you think recruiting is the first thing. It's really not. It's very important. But as hard as we push our guys, you have, there's got to be give and take. You know, the the... the it's actually, we believe this. You can push a person very hard if they trust you. And I've told them they're going to get the very best academic support. They're going to get the very best nutrition. Uh, they're going to get the very best locker room, the very best everything. And I'm fortunate to work for a guy that believes in that. You know, I don't care about my stuff or the stuff for our assistant coaches, but I really care about whoever touches our players better be the best. And that means equipment to uh, safety of a player to, you know, if you're a gold or a red, which means you've earned your right around here a little bit, you should be treated right. So when, that's number one. Number two is obviously recruiting. When you come in, this should be a wow place. And, uh, and every year you see we add a little coat of paint here and there to make it nicer. The indoor with the TV now and, and those type of things. We, we, I like where we're at, but next year I can keep pushing. Shoes specifically? The what's that? The shoes specifically? Shoes? The, the shoe. Oh, oh yeah, the shoes. As, as fine a facility as there is, and I think, you know, I wasn't here when they made the renovation, but obviously they did a wonderful job. Front row, Bill. <coughs> you mentioned Michael Jordan. He was taking first team reps today. Could you talk about his progress? And, and you also spoke about the offensive line as, as a concern. How big a concern is it? Isaiah Prince is doing, you know, uh, better and better, and, and so is Jamarco Jones. Uh, we're kind of solidified that. Now the back the backup tackles, were, we moved Bowen out there, and he's doing okay. But we're still trying to find that starting five. Demetrius Knox is close. He just got you know, a little bit of a rolled ankle on, uh, what was it, Saturday. And uh, Evan Lyle's doing okay. You know, so we just wanted to that, – that whoever plays that position, we can't drop off. And so that went from Norwell to Marcus Hall to uh, uh, Billy Price and Pat Elfline. And we're not going to drop off. And about Michael Jordan, what, what stood out about him? He just loves it. You know, he doesn't know if it's right or left sometimes, but that's not this point. We don't care. And he come in for extra work, enjoy the game, enjoy practice, and be a tough guy. And he's done all that. Really impressed with him. Front row right, Austin. Urban, I think last Tuesday you said you were looking forward to the scrimmage with Joe Burrow just to see how he responded. Is he still at maybe your backup? How did he handle it? Just okay. You know, that's uh, – and a lot of times the quarterback will get hammered because – the right guard misses a, a block and we throw a pick. So, and the receivers right now are, you know, our top four guys are out. They're not practicing. You take the top three from last year, they're going to go to the National Football League. The top four aren't practicing. So we're in a little bit of thin pickings right now. And that, that causes quarterback a little bit of concerns. When, if he's healthy and protected, what, what does he bring to that position? Still trying to evaluate that. You know, I don't know enough. <coughs> Compared to last year, do you enjoy the quarterback evaluating quarterbacks handling that position more than when there's controversy and questions every time you came in here? I don't. I don't worry about what I enjoy. I wish we had four quarterbacks that I had to choose from. So no, I just. Good. Sure. All right, Clay. Is there somebody that's become a starter in this first week and a half, two weeks of spring? Isaiah Prince. Uh, I should say that. You know, um, uh, let me think. Not yet. Not yet. And Saturday is your student. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, 
you like to include, right? Oh, I love it. Don't ever forget about the students. And we got the number one student body in the 29,000 every year. And the minute you forget about thanking them, the minute people feel unappreciated. And boosters and former players get a lot of positive vibes. And that's really important. But we spend as much time with the students as I hope anybody in the country. And you know, we're going to have food for them. We're going to have a lot of fun, fun things. And we're, we're not making them sit for two and a half hours and watch a bad practice. They're going to come in for the last hour, and we'll do some stuff after. You're running in the fastest man competition. Yeah. yeah. Write that down. Play. Second or left, Ari Urban, uh, speaking of having four quarterbacks to choose from, I was wondering, in this world where you have to be constantly aware of your scholarship numbers and the world of recruiting and stuff, it seems like you guys have always had an emphasis on having four scholarship quarterbacks on the roster at all times when maybe to the surface with a guy like me it seems like I can't get away with three one here. Why is it that you guys have always strive to have four scholarships? I think everybody does. It's not us guys, it's college football. You know, we everybody learned a big time lesson a couple of years ago when Ohio State won a national title with the number three signal <coughs> caller. And we all know who number four was, right? Number four is Jalen Marshall. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but the one wasn't ready to go. So you need four in case. There's you know plenty of stories across the country where all of a sudden the fourth guy or third guy is not ready, and then the whole program falls apart. You have to find room in a recruiting class, or find room on how to like fit somebody in. Would you ever consider going with three, or would you always have four? Uh, that's too hard. To, uh, there's circumstances that show up. We'd like to have four, but. I can't, you know, the minute I say that, someone says, well, back six years ago, you only had three. I don't, you'd like to have four. Second row left, Doug. Uh, Urban, with, you talked about the, the receivers that you're missing right now, but <coughs> just when you look at the receivers who are out there, do you feel like, wow, there's just a lot of potential out here? Mm -hmm. Or do you look and say, man, there's a lot of questions out here, and I don't know how this is going to work out? Well, a lot of potential. You know, after, you know, you've been here six months, if you're tagged with the term you have a lot of potential, that's really a bad thing. It means you're not very good, but you should be, and I do see that. And so it's we have some guys with potential, which is not that's not a positive. That means we have guys that have gifts, but they're not we're not using them. Either we're not coaching them properly, or they're not executing properly. So potential is really it's kind of a neat word for the first three or four months, and then after six months, if you hear boy that guy's got potential, it's another way of saying he's not very good, or he doesn't care, and that's not a good word to have. So when you, I know we, you sort of talked right after the season with JT coming back and that you just think you might be a team in the fall that throws it a little more than I that. hope. Yeah, I mean, I know it's early, but like, do you do you think you'll be able to do it? You'll have the guys. I, no, we guys are. We're going to have to. We're going to have to. We're going to have to. And you know, we had that. There was a long, hard conversation today that has to happen. And at, after practice, whatever it was, was that six today? Yeah. Practice yeah. six. Yeah, it's not happened yet. Front row left, Mitch. Last two questions, folks. Uh, you talked about Mike Weber uh, briefly. Can you talk about him more specifically and, and the other guys who are running at running? Briante Dunn is, uh, and, and Mike, you're neck and neck. Uh, Briante Dunn is not, he's, he's, I'm so impressed with him. Because you all know a couple years ago, there wasn't a whole lot of conversation about him. And um, just to see his family come around practice like they did on Saturday, bright eyed, because they know he's doing right, doing right in the classroom, doing right really. Everywhere, and uh, but Mike Weber is, is he's an extremely talented guy and a really good hard practice player. So I'm very pleased with those two. And the young guy is earning some respect around here. He might be the first guy to get that stripe off out of that whole group because he's uh, he's a tough nut. Antonio Williams. And last question is Tim. Yeah, Urban. Uh, real quick, Marshawn Lattimore. Are y'all just taking it easy with yeah. him off and on? And it's just volume right now. Uh -huh. So he was out there running today, but we weren't allowed. To, we weren't going to let him go. It's interesting. We're changed, and our trainers are doing everything they can. But that's a frustrating deal when he's that talented. And he is, because he didn't know if he's that talented. His first week here, this spring, he is that talented. So we just gotta make sure. Is uh, Torrance Gibson? Is he still tagged with a potential thing, or do you see him? No potential. Him? Yeah, I mean. But he is trying as hard. You know, he's trying hard. But we got to move him into that. Boy, what a talented guy! As opposed to man, he's talented potential. Any follow up with that. Uh, KJ Hill. Uh, He's doing he really good. He's the ball very well with one hand. <laughs> yeah. We'll get the second one back, though. I know, but do you see, yeah, exactly. Do you, do you, I know the potential word there, but do you see things yeah. flashes in him? That yeah, we seen? almost played him last year, if you remember. Yeah. Yeah, he's doing very good. And let, last thing, uh, 
Student Appreciation Day, when did you start? I can't remember. When did you start? Was that at Florida? Was that at Utah? Was that? Student Appreciation Day started here. You know, I, that's back when I was younger. I went to every student organization. You know, I can't do that anymore. Yeah. That's, that takes like three months to go see every, have dinner at the fraternity, sorority houses, the student government. And we've done, Dr. J and I, but we've done a bunch of cool things together. But we just, that was a creative thing here. We were going to open up when I first got here. I said, let's open up practice one day. And the AD said, you can't do that. And there'll be too many people. So. Do you see the players, though? I mean, do they, do you see them perk up? I mean, do you see yeah. a, a synergy there you like? Yeah. A bunch of pretty girls come over here and watch practice. And they're, they're students that a lot of them know. Yeah. yeah. I think anybody, if you're not, you're not real, you know, I like to see that, too. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Coach Holtz is coming, too. That uh, He's going to be here and watch practice and might have him chat with the students, too, a little bit because I know he loves that. Have a great day. Thanks. Thanks.